We got funded from the Lottery Awards for All to do this workshop. So we've done 12 workshops over the year and then we've got an exhibition at the end. I think in every workshop that we've done, everyone has enjoyed at least some element of it. Each workshop has been based on a different media and a different artist. So we had the Oaks play scheme, which is a centre-based play scheme for older children and acorns for the younger children. And then we have the Out and About play scheme where we take the children to local amenities. With the Out and About group, because they spend a lot of time in the, in the countryside, for example, at the beach or in the woods, we wanted to find an artist that also worked with nature. So we chose a British artist called Andy Goldsworthy, who's an environmental artist, where he creates art using natural materials workshops with the Oaks children. We had a look at Kandinsky. When he hears music he sees colours and so we wanted to get this idea of combining music and movement and colour. One of the artists we chose was Jackson Pollock, an American artist who did something called drip painting. Lots of these children don't have access to regular art classes and regular play schemes. We really had to take into account um, the abilities of the children because they've all got their own things that they enjoy doing and things that they can relate to. It's definitely been good fun. It's been hard work. It's, there's a lot of preparation that goes along behind and um, then on the on the actual day it's a bit of a whirlwind and they just do all the activities really quickly and really get into the activities and enjoy it. I think it's a fantastic organisation. It's great for parents who are needing the respite. Social interaction with her friends in the holidays, it's important for her to see her friends and her school friends that she wouldn't normally see. She loves coming to work. Yeah. yeah. The biggest success is seeing such range of work come from the children and it's not been hard and it's not been particularly challenging for them, it's just been something that we've hoped that will engage them. We treated each child as an individual and thought about what we could do to help them join in. So all the time we were just thinking, how can each child access the materials? Some of the younger children really like sensory activities, um, some of the children like to be outside, some of the children like to be inside. So we really wanted something that all the children could take part in and enjoy it.